Hi, my name is Azan Khan from K12 to stemcareer.com and I am going to review the clutch book of paper airplanes because my science fair project is about which paper airplane design will go the farthest. There are 10 paper airplane designs in this book and these are the three I'm going to focus on. The spy plane, the swashbuckler, and the professional. In the first few pages of this book it says read this page. These two pages are about how you can make your plane perfect. It says first, fold exact folds. Exact folds will fly like this. Um, sloppy folds won't fly. It will have, this will end up happening. Next, check symmetry. If you make a mistake on one side, then make the mistake on the other side. If you don't have exact symmetry, it'll go start turning to one angle or another angle and also another way to check for symmetry is look down the middle third throw it easy the first few tries don't throw it hard throw it light and breezy if you've gone through the whole process all of this and it doesn't work then just get a new paper and start folding again these two pages are about folding and tweaking. This part of the page, it says the first thing to do is edge to edge, corner to corner. You have to make exact folds where they're all perfect. Number two, crease well. Creasing is where you fold it and you have to use your finger to crease it. And then also, smush paper bubbles down. Paper bubbles are where it, the paper is bulging up when you're making the paper airplane like this you can see also the way to smush them down is by using a pencil or a pen cap and rubbing it along there this part of the page is about tweaking the head roll is the wing angle if your wings are going pointing down they're going to crash right away if they're straight or up they'll fly really good when you smush up or down at the back of the plane towards the middle, that's called elevators. If you smush up, it will rise. If you smush down, it will fall. Next, ailerons. Ailerons are like elevators, but they're at the end of the, um, of the paper airplane, and they make it turn right or left. If you want it to turn right, smush the left part of the wing. If you want it to turn left, you smush the right part of the wing. Here's a spy plane, and here are the instructions for it. It says it's a, what type it is. It's a glider, folding difficulty. It's best outside. This is the throw chart, see? If you throw it up, it's telling us to throw it up and uh, very hard. And then, now I'm gonna make the plane. Now you have the spy plane. I made five of them. Now I'm going to be making the swashbuckler. So here is this type of airplane it is. It's a stunt plane. Folding difficulty, it's number two. It's both good in indoor and outdoor. And so if I throw it at a down angle, it'll go like this and then up, up angle, and then yeah. So now I'm going to make the plane.
There you go. You got the swashbuckler. Now I'm going to make the professional. So it says it's a glider, stunt, and a dart. It's good indoor and outdoor. Its folding difficulty is number is two. And here is the chart. Okay, I'm gonna start making it. There you have it, the professional. These two pages are telling you um, how it's going to fly. So it says the only two things that make one throw different from the other are this are speed and angle. In fact, for most planes, all you need to know are these big important rules. So gliders are uh, going through these angles, straight and all of that. Darts, they want like these angles and also stunt planes like the bo these angles this angle and these angles so we're at the park and we're testing out our um planes, right? All right. And uh, we've thrown a couple. Some have gone pretty far. Some have not gone so far. Uh, and so we're using the troubleshooting part of this book to help tweak the plane, right? So Rizwan, we just got back from an hour and a half in the uh, park, throwing the paper planes. What do you think of the book? I thought this book was really good. And it's, if you have a big interest in making paper airplanes, but you don't know how to make advanced ones that can go pretty far and do awesome um, skills, you need this book because it tells you all these cool um, paper airplanes, like this one, the Space Cruiser, how it, if you throw it at an up angle, it'll go up like a roller coaster, I go, uh, It is a good book, uh, recommend it, uh, 10 easy to fold planes, the Klutz book of paper airplanes, um, we had a good day today, right, we spent all, we spent like a good three or four hours today making planes, uh, and having a fun time with this book, so, recommend it. Thanks. Thanks, Razan. Appreciate it. Bye.